gunfire in the streets of Cairo as protesters run from security forces, the clearest sign that peace in this country is a long way away. Not long ago, the crowds filled the city's landmark Tahrir Square in the hope that things would change. Today, soldiers drove them out, and in the renewed confrontations that are multiplying in the city, hope is fading fast. Already there are casualties, reports of some 600 injured to add to the nine who lost their lives yesterday, but the danger of the fighting is holding nobody back. This morning, government troops took their position on a state-owned archive building beside Tahrir Square and rained rocks onto the heads of the protesters below. The government said they were targeting thugs. The country's prime minister suggests that troublemakers have infiltrated the protests to stir up violence. But those present in the city say the sense of unrest is real and widespread. Days after elections were held in the latest stage of a long, drawn-out transition from military rule, pro-democracy campaigners are impatient at the pace of reforms. Some are prepared to risk their lives to maintain pressure on Egypt's leaders to keep their promises, but it seems possible that more lives could be lost before that happens. Damon Green, ITV News.